What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here with the Single Guy Channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about a question that I got recently, let me pick it up. Um, and the question is the following. He writes, hey Lloyd, I've uh, been texting this girl for a little bit. We matched on Tinder and it seems like she likes me, but she's taking a really long time to respond. Sometimes I'll text her and she'll take a whole day to get back to me. How can I get her to respond quicker? What am I doing wrong? Okay. Cool, so uh, this is, I paraphrased what he said, obviously. <laughs> uh, but basically this guy is dealing with an issue that's very, very common, a very common question that I get is that a guy is texting a girl, typically they match on a dating app or something like that and the girl's taking a long time to get back to him. Or maybe he got her number in real life and she's just taking a while, okay? Uh, so the first reaction that a lot of guys have to this is like, okay, well she's not interested uh, because she's taking a long time to get back to me. And that's very possible. In fact, very frequently, women will take a long time to respond um, to a guy if they're not really interested in him. They do the kind of slow fade out thing where they take longer and longer and then eventually you don't hear from them, okay? Uh, I've been guilty of doing that too. Uh, women do that all the time, okay? But how do you know if that's, if that's what's happening or if she's just taking a long time to respond because maybe she's busy or maybe the messages you're sending aren't very good. So I've seen a lot of guys' messages and in those situations, I, I think they can do a lot of improvements to their texting, meaning that like they're sending messages that are just, the way they're, they're going about things is it, it's natural that she's gonna take a long time to respond, okay? So in these positions, it's not necessarily that she's not interested, it's just that they could go about it a little bit better. Um, so here's some tips that you can use to get a girl to respond quicker to your messages, okay? Tip number one, break up the messages, okay? So if you have a long thing to say to somebody, I would break it up. Don't put it one big block. So into the in the left screen, I have an example about this. Basically, the guy was talking about his day um, and he was telling her all the stuff that happened and he put it in one big block. Okay, rather than putting it in one big block where she looks at it and she's like, oh damn, I have to type a freaking essay to respond to this. I mean, even if I see a message like that, if it's a girl that I like, I'm gonna take a while to respond because I have to think of what to say. You know, I'm probably gonna be writing a freaking essay or something like that. So if you are a guy who's doing that, instead of saying a one big block, say, today, went to the beach swam in the ocean, water was super cold, um, you know, can't wait to, couldn't wait to get back into my home, whatever, that's a bad example. But uh, it's an example of something that instead of putting in one big block, you break it up. Now, if you can say it a lot more concisely when you're doing that, she kind of reads it the way she thinks. So she thinks, oh, okay, went to the beach today. Cool, I like going to the beach too. Like, it, it's easier for her to respond to each individual thing than one, one, blue, one long big block of text. Okay, tip number two, uh, make sure you keep it fun and playful. Sometimes if you especially are matching with a girl on Tinder or you first got her number, a, a lot of guys wanna get very uh, deep and intellectual with this person. Um, I would recommend that you wait to do stuff like that, okay? Make it fun, playful at the beginning, just tease her, flirt, do those kinds of things, uh, make it positive. Uh, those things are more likely to get a response, um, especially if you delve into a lot of negativity that responses can start to get a little slower. Okay, so if you make it fun, positive, flirty, she's much more likely to respond, but if you're talking about serious topics, like you really wanna delve deep into her, you know, her, uh, her psyche or uh, get to know her, that's fine, um, but I would recommend that you wait a little bit before you do that because she's gonna take a lot longer to respond and think of an answer because now you're taking it much more seriously. If it's silly and playful, she's not gonna think too much about her answer, uh, and so she's gonna text you back faster. Okay, uh, tip number three is to mix it up. Um, if you've been sending a lot of messages, you know, send her a picture or something like that, or you know, uh, tell her something, hey, check out what happened to me today, or something like that. If you don't have to make it that how are you doing every single day, how are you doing is fine if you're saying it once in a while, um, but if you say it every single time, that starts to get into a routine, it starts to get boring, and she's less likely to want to respond to you. Okay, uh, tip number four is to relax, okay? Relax, you guys. Just because a woman is taking a long time to respond, it doesn't say anything about you as a person. It doesn't mean she doesn't like you. Um, yeah, sure, there's a chance for that, but there's a chance she doesn't like you even if she does respond on time, okay? So worrying about it is only gonna make it worse. Now, what I recommend that you do is 
have other things going on in your life that you're not really worrying about this so much, okay? If you have a life where a lot of it's staring at your phone waiting for a message, you know, something's probably up. Me and my life, I'm always doing things and you know, even if someone that I really like texts me, it, it usually takes me a little bit of time to get back to them because I have all this work and stuff that I'm doing for this channel and this business. Um, so I have a lot of stuff going on, okay? So if you have a life where it's, you know, it's engaging with the stuff around you is occupying you, I think that's a more fulfilling life um, than if you're just waiting around for your phone. Okay, uh, and the final tip that I have for you guys is basically have other options, okay? If a woman is not texting you back at the rate that you want her to text her back, it might seem like a small thing, but it also might be indicative of a larger thing. If that's something that's important to you, find somebody who's gonna do that. You know, if you get, if this is just a person who, you know, for whatever reason, she's just very slow to get back to people, she's not very communicative, um, that's a sign that maybe a relationship with her or maybe, um, even a hookup or something like that might be more trouble than it's worth, okay? I like to be with people that fit kind of my personality and mold, um, and the ones that don't, you know, like, we're probably not the best match for each other. But if the person is part of my mold, then yeah, sure, they're gonna do things that, uh, that fall in line with my, uh, my values. And so if you value getting back to somebody quickly and being, you know, communicating to them, then find somebody who will do that for you, okay? Just because, she's uh, taking a, s a slow time to respond to you, it's not always your fault, okay? So there's plenty of fish in the sea, you guys. That's how a high value guy, I mean, uh, that's how a high value guy thinks, um, is he's not thinking about, oh, what did I do wrong about this girl? You know, she's not responding to me super quickly. He's gonna be like, well, this girl's taking too long to respond. I'm gonna text the girl who will respond to me quicker, okay? Um, and so I'm not saying drop her just because of that. You know, if there are other qualities, you have to take that into account too. Um, but I'm saying if that's something that's really important to you, you should find someone who is gonna satisfy that for you. Okay, cool. So yeah, and obviously there's the chance that she might not be that interested. So, you know, if that's the case, then that's the right move anyway. Okay, so follow these tips, you guys. If you find yourself getting into conversations with women that are taking too long to respond, try using these techniques. Um, but like I said, you guys, make sure you keep your options open. Make sure you have stuff going on with your life. And I think that's gonna solve a lot of your problems. All right, thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you have any other ideas about ways to get girls to respond quicker or ways to get people to respond quicker in general, put them in the comment section below. Would love to read them. If you're interested in getting coached by me personally, there's a form in the description box below. Click on the link, and if, we seem, if you seem like a good fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.